Distributech 2024 is taking place in Orlando in Florida at the end of the month on the 26th to the 29th of February. Now, any topic related to the transformation of, of our existing energy infrastructure, be that transmission, distribution, uh, smart cities, home, electric vehicle infrastructure, you name it, it will be covered. Again, this year, there is a, uh, a big focus on education. So obviously we have the keynotes, the technical conference program. There's a lot of different workshops. You've got the um, Utility University on the Monday as well. Plus a lot of different, uh, the breakfast round tables, lunch and round tables, lots of meetups and, and, and. Now, in terms of uh, the overall experience, um, Zeus is back again this year. But obviously, as I say, you have all the networking, you have City of the Future, the EV zone. Two things I'll be keeping an eye out for in particular, you know, I, as I say, I, I don't know what I don't know. So the initiate startups, it's always fascinating to see what startups and investors are, are chasing down these days, you know, whether they see this going. You also have the future energy leaders. You know, we, we desperately need to bring in the next generation into the workforce. So there's a big focus with many of the universities in terms of the, the uh, folks studying college degrees today and bringing them into the industry. So you'll see a lot of things around that. Now, as you can imagine, um, in the exhibition floor, it's pretty much about who's who in the industry. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a busy couple of days. I will be there. I'll be spending a lot of time with the IBM energy team, with Siemens. Uh, I'll also be meeting up with Pritpal and the rest of the Inter Intel energy team. Now, I, I'm, you know, let's see what the, the key themes are, but I'm guessing we'll hear a lot about AI and generative AI in particular right across the, the event. I'll also be keeping an eye out for, well, what's the latest and greatest when it comes to digital twins? Who's using them for what? What kind of a digital twin? Where do they see it going? Because there's been a lot going on in the industry and what are the use cases? What are the competencies? What's the business value people are seeing? And also with all of this digital twin, all of the data, all of the modeling that's going on, um, how are we going to interact with that? So what are the immersive experiences? You know, what kind of displays, 3D, 2D displays are we going to be using? What kind of headsets is it augmented reality mixed reality virtual reality haptics um you know you name it I, i'm curious to see what people will be talking about there when it comes to interacting with all this stuff and hey who knows we might even see a, a vision pro demo maybe anyway if you're in orlando the last week of february see you there